How have you kind of seen that play out these last two weeks? Uh, basically, well, the coaches just they're telling us to bring that energy to the offense. The running backs are going to bring that energy, and everybody's going to feed off of us. So just as a running back, as a running back group, we just like to bring that energy every game and just push our teammates to do better every game. And, you know, with that, too, it sounded like that was kind of a challenge put upon the offensive line. You know, have you noticed anything different from those guys these last couple of weeks? Uh, just the, the connection with those guys, the relationship. The re I feel like the relationship just got closer with those guys, and we're just coming together as a family. So I feel like connection and the results going on the field. Looking back at these last couple of games, there was a couple of drives that stuck out. Um, I think it was the first one of the third quarter against BYU, that 20-play drive. And then the one before halftime against uh, Chattanooga, the 19-play drive that you guys weren't able to come up with points on. You know, what's going to be the biggest key in, in trying to come up with points, complete these drives, and, and put yourself in a position to have a little bit more success in terms of wins and losses? Um, just everybody doing their job, everybody executing, and everybody playing together as a team. Like I said, again, we just got to bring that energy. And the, if the offense gets rolling, the defense going to get rolling. It's a, team, it's a team sport, so just like that. You know, with FAU, um, second best rushing defense in Conference USA, what stands out to you about those guys and what they do? Um, stop the run? What, what FAU tends to do, they have a uh, they they tend to bring an extra man in the box to stop the run. So so with that with that, maybe try to attack, run the ball, attack the air, just let them soften up a little bit to get that run game going. But like as of what I'm watching on film, they like to bring an extra man in the box to stop that run. You know, with this the running attack that you guys have put together these last couple of uh, games, you know, you and you engage really complement each other really well. How do you see what you guys do kind of working together, and how would you kind of compare and contrast your styles? Um, well, like me, me and Gage, we we coach each other throughout the way. Like if we see, like if I see in the game, I see, I tell him what I see on the field, and he will kind of take that in and. and adjust and he'll do the same to me and we just go on it like that just keeping keeping our, each other up and just keeping each other to run hard hit the hole if you see it just hit it basically just like that and you know um i think i saw today you were named um to a watch list for a comeback player of the year award you know what does that mean to you personally um well just like i, I seen it i seen it kind of late like after practice and it's just just basically like all my hard work is, is finally showing and I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed, and I thank God. He just put me in this position, and just blessed to be back on the field again, playing the sport I love. So what's the biggest positive that you guys are taking away from that heading into a um, important four-game conference stretch that starts with FAU on Saturday? Um, I mean, the biggest positive was uh, being able to come back after halftime and uh, not give up as many points. Um, to be able to come back out and still lock in and still have enough pride and enough willpower to just finish out the game. That was a big positive, Aaron. I mean, any time a game gets ugly like that and you still have the want and the will to go out and still compete, I mean, that's always a good sign. I mean, we didn't lose any heart out there, so that's a good positive. You know, with this FAU team, I guess, what stands out to you about those guys? Um, I mean, the best thing that stands out for me is, I mean, they're a Florida team, so you know they're going to be fast. They got athletes. Um, they uh, – Luckily, don't have as much of the hurry up as they used to have. So that's a, you feel me? Hopefully, they'll get rid of that. Don't bring that back out. Uh, last year, they were such a hurry up team. I mean, I think they were snapping the ball like six seconds after it was down, something like that. Yeah, I mean, it was ridiculous. But I mean, hopefully, they don't bring that out. And um, that'd be a good thing for us. Uh, just be able to sit back and not have to really worry about that, be able to just get in place. You know, it, the coaches, um, you know, Coach Hilton said it yesterday, and I asked Coach White about it. He, they kind of compared them to Middle Tennessee with their quarterback and what they do with those guys. You know, do you see that at all? Um, yeah, I see that. Um, the quarterback, I mean, he's not – I mean, he's not Lamar Jackson, but, I mean, he's definitely mobile, and he can make some – if he can get out of the pocket and go get a first down or take it for whatever they need. But, um, yeah, I mean, much like MTSU, it's going to really come down to being able to dial in and not letting some of the trickery and the motions, you feel me, end up throwing us out of the game. You know, with that middle game that you guys had, um, I guess what are you taking away from that if you're – if they kind of compare to them? Um, like, what can you take away from that game, that win that you guys had at middle? Um, you can definitely just take away um, the focus on uh, coming up and stopping the run. 
and then um, really coming up and making big plays on third down. That was one of the best things we've done like all year. AMTSU was getting off the field on third downs and that's the biggest takeaway because I mean that's what's going to come down to. You know with this stretch coming up um, you know four games chance to finish with a winning record you know how important is it to, to get off to a good start here Saturday uh, just to kind of close out the season strong? I mean it's super important I mean um, we're always preach that this is the most important game because it's the next game and that's just how we're going to look at it and we're going to continue to look at it win lose or loss throughout the season um, it doesn't really matter what our record is. Um, everybody wants to win, nobody wants to lose. But at the end of the day, we're all grown men and we get put on the field, we're there to play.